Hey, this is Alex Kasinyuk, and I actually want to get into draw type. So draw type is actually how you view your scene in 3D view. So the draw type options are actually located down at the bottom here, um, right here. So you can actually click on this box and it will give you all the different options. So you have your textured view, solid view, wireframe, and uh, bounding box. And you'll actually find yourself using the solid view the most, which is uh, what it's set to as default. And um, you notice that solid view is pretty basic. You just have your objects represented in a solid shading. And it won't have any effect to light. It'll just be the um, GLSL light that um, is in the 3D view. But it won't actually have any effect to the, um, the 3D lights or the 3D lamps that are in the scene. Anyway, so the default is solid view. But there's actually some unique purposes to the other views, or the other draw types. So what I'm going to look at first is wireframe. Now wireframe is another type that I find myself using quite a bit. So to toggle in and out of wireframe and solid view, you can actually press Z, and that'll give you the probably the easiest way to get to wireframe is just by pressing Z, and, and to get back to solid view as well. So you can just press Z, or you can always go down to the draw type menu and go to wireframe. And what wireframe really does is it shows your objects as a wire mesh or line drawing. And there's actually two main advantages that I see to wireframe. So number one would be that you can see the structure of your mesh. So you can actually, uh, I'll just use the monkey for example, yeah, you can actually see um, all the lines um, just as if it was like a line drawing, a 2D line drawing. And um, you can kind of see your mesh as a whole, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, opposed to solid view, so if I switch out of this, it's kind of... You still can see the lines a little bit, but it's a lot more noticeable in wireframe, obviously. And the second advantage would be just because it's faster processing. So if you're playing a game uh, if you want to run a game in Blender that uh, is a pretty big file and it takes up a lot of memory, you might want to try uh, actually playing it in wireframe just because it'll be a lot faster and it won't crash or anything like that. Well, it might still crash, but has a better chance of running smoother, if that makes sense. So, that's pretty much it for wireframe. Now, speaking of fast processing, uh, let's look at bounding box. So what bounding box is, uh, is the next option down here, uh, is the next draw type. And if you just click on that, you'll notice that everything turns to a cube, or a box. Now, the basic idea of this is to actually have a draw type that shows you how much space objects take up. Now, I don't find myself actually using this draw type as much, but I can see some advantages to it. Um, so basically, if you wanted to see if certain objects collide in an animation or in a game, you might want to use Bounding Box. But other than that, um, I don't see too much use for it. I don't want to put it out that much, but um, it's always there. Anyways, moving on to the higher processing types now. So, Textured Draw Type. It's at the top here. So once you go to Textured Draw Type, um, you'll notice that the light actually has effect now, so the light in your scene, uh, which is right up here. So, in textured draw type, the lights will have effect, and um, you will actually be able to see different textures displayed on your objects. Now, I'm not going to go into textures right now, but um, if I had actually applied a texture to one of these objects, it would be shown uh, in textured draw type. So anyways, it's just nice to view how your textures will actually look on your objects, and it's great for actually setting up your lighting as well, without actually having to render, because you don't want to have to be rendering all the time, and um, just to get the perfect lighting. So texture mode actually does help out with that. So there you pretty much have all the different draw types, and um, another thing I should actually mention is that when you have multiple 3D views, so let's just add another 3D view here, so we have multiple 3D views. 
you can actually change the texture or the draw type of one of the windows and uh, it'll be different. So it's kind of cool to maybe have a wireframe in one mode and then have the solid view so you can actually, or maybe even have a textured view so you can actually see the texture and actually work on the mesh in wireframe, for example. Or whatever you want to do with it. It's up to you.